Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm here today with the guys at College of Biomedical Equipment Technology and they have some new cool stuff. You should have came to the show because you can try it yourself. But I have a list of user questions that I would like to ask right here in real time so we can get you guys some answers direct from the source. So, first one, guys ask me, U.S. military members who are active duty who want to transition into biomed because we're that cool. They, they want to know what their options are and how can they do it while they're still serving. Okay. Well, I start by saying, Justin, we're a veteran-owned and operated company. We understand veterans' needs. Uh, I'm retired army myself. We are passionate and absolutely love serving veterans. As you know. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, one of the one of the biggest innovations that we've come across is the Skill Bridge program. Okay. Sure if you're familiar with Skill Bridge. Uh, I've heard of it, but uh, what exactly is Skill Bridge? Okay, so Skill Bridge is a DoD authorized program for all service branches that allows service members during the last six months of their uh, military career, when they're still on active duty, break away from their active duty assignment to engage in. Training and education for up to six months. Wow. During that six month period, as a CMA, they obtain their BMAT certification um, and we place them with a um, employer nationally, where they're located. Uh, we work with you know, great companies like Foby, others that are out there uh, doing this kind of work and we partner with them. A service member comes to us uh, while they're still on active duty, get authorization from their command. Uh, we place them with the company, they get their certificate, and they um, get their training, they get their education, they get a job. Wow. Uh, Excellent. We personally hired uh, a couple of uh, biomeds on the skill grid program. Right, right. I've, I've heard of some people going through it. I, that program wasn't in while I was still there. What a cool development. It is amazing. Uh, it is the best. I, I still can't believe they authorize it for active duty service members. Okay. Um, but it's amazing. For service members, it is a wonderful opportunity. Well, it makes sense. Um, I mean, and the, yeah, the day you retire, you've got the training, you've got the education, you got the job. Wow. Um, and of course, we take the education. We allow service members. You know, strong and encouraging. The industry is wide open for service members. It's fantastic. They're seeking them, as you know. Yeah, of course. Uh, the transferable skill sets are perfect. And if you're a veteran and you're thinking about joining the HTM industry, it's never been a better time. I completely agree. Well, guys, there you have it. That's uh, the guy that asked me that question. Good on you, man. Good luck to your future. Look these guys up. That's, that's definitely going to be a solution. Number two, uh, can select classes be taken instead of committing to a two-year or four-year program? Absolutely. It's noisy and fun here. It's but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, not everybody needs a degree. Not everybody right. needs a certificate. As an example, we support Andy's apprenticeship program. He's a, uh, a related training and instructor provider for the Andy apprenticeship program. Um, so if, if an individual wants to take just the classes necessary to enter into the field at minimum, right. Right. as an example, they could go into an apprenticeship program with one of the authorized apprenticeship companies that are out there. Um, get in the apprenticeship. There's three courses they would have to take to complete that. Okay. Um, they could take those courses through us. And when they're done, they're working for a company and go through an apprenticeship. Well, um, alternatively, there's seasoned guys out there like yourself that maybe I just need to brush off on um, yeah, this. Much. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you, from, you can select from all of our courses and like any other institution, take that course. I'm going to brush up on Spanish too. Right? Um, for you guys, it's brush up on infection control. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's lots of different elements. I mean, because we tend to work ourselves into a niche, and from there, maybe you want to expand, you know, what you're currently doing. So, And, and to that point, also, I add, like, one of the courses that seems to have the most interest for that is our introduction to the imaging course. Okay. So we recently added an introduction to imaging. It is a, it is a, it is a first step for a biomed that right. is interested in making that pivot. You know how many people ask me how do I get into imaging? I, I get that question almost daily, and I never had an answer for them. I mean, obviously your first step is to do something on your own accord, you know, to prove that you are training yourself to be in imaging. But I never had an answer. For yeah, and we've seen that you're not unique in that that area of concern. So for the last year, we've been 
focus talking about the Wall Street that ended up our program up. Um, starting with the two things. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. And so that's, that's very cool. Leading into that. Well, um, so someone asked me the details on CHOP certification. It's it's all the buzz, especially right now for the show. It's all that I really know is that it's d and certification. And uh, do you know any of the other details about CHOP and why people might want to get involved with it? Absolutely. So, you know, DMV is one of the several options for healthcare facilities seeking accreditation. Right, right, right. Um, we love for in Canada. Um, they have a, a very interesting perspective on accreditation. They treat, they treat accreditation and health organizations like living, learning organizations, and they work hard to ensure their success. So, right. as part of that sort of solution and approach to accreditation, they've gone beyond healthcare facility and said, let's look at the people inside the facility that need to be able to answer the questions. So their approach is when an accreditation team comes to visit the healthcare facility, you shouldn't be running into a corner or hiding from the inspector. You should be ready to engage with and interact with them. And plus, you're probably also more prepared. I was working at one, maybe two hospitals that had DMV. I'd never heard of it before. But because it's a constant process improvement, it's required to maintain that DMV. You don't have like this two-year gap where you just let yourself slough off. Your internal uh, checks and balances will keep that up. Yeah, DMV's got some nuances to it that are different annual inspections. That's great. And going over all that is part of the, the certification for CHOP, right? So you go over the details of how to set up your own program and I know there's what three, four different levels. Yeah, so there's certified healthcare operations professional, B, yeah, sure basic, okay. advanced, okay. A, and uh, E for executive. Okay. Um, so they just let so anybody. You're a biomed out there in the industry. Uh, yeah. Hey, I want to be better prepared for the next accreditation visit. The CHOP B course is your entry point. Yeah. Um, it's a prerequisite for CHOP A, which is a prerequisite for CHOP E. And um, they're great courses. DMV has been offering for the last few years. They're substantive. They're valuable. Um, and if you're a biomed out there and you want to be better than the next guy, oh, it's right. a great skill to take on to know that. And it's all about regulations and requirements and you know local, state, federal right. regulatory you know, things. And as a highly qualified biomed, you should know. Right. You know, if you want to if you want to separate yourself from the pack and be the leader, that's that's a great place to start. Plus, you can also get credit hours, right? Absolutely. Okay. Cool. And so, an interesting mix of why this is also right for our colleges. As an online college, you have some vulnerabilities. The biggest one, the biggest question I always get is, well, how do you get hands-on yeah. training? Well, so when you look at what are not the vulnerabilities of what are the strengths of an online college? Learning yeah, compliance is something that we can turn to make a real strength and a differentiator with our program. Right. By adding compliance components throughout our program, it strengthens and improves the outcomes of our students that graduate from the school. So our students, when they graduate, there's an expectation that they're going to have some basic knowledge of healthcare compliance. Um, and the CHOP B, the CHOP A, and the CHOP B certification series are really sort of an extension of that value added to it. And biomeds like me, senior level biomeds, we're kind of capped out on where we can go. It adds growth. Absolutely. So that's that's a cool feature. And I mean, if I was CBS certified, I'd also have that, uh, you know, credit hours that would be wonderful. Um, okay. So uh, can you tell me more about the VR tech? Because you can see there's people using it. Guys, I tried it just moments ago. It's easily one of the coolest things I've seen here. So I, I, I did the the contrast injector, which I've never touched a contrast injector before, other than maybe checking the cups and you know resetting an error code. I've never taken one apart, but I just did in real time. So can you tell me more about this technology and where you guys want to go with this technology? Absolutely. Back to the vulnerabilities of an online school. One of the things we've constantly asked ourselves is how can we improve what we do? How can we add value to our students? Because our borders are bonds. Right. Uh, our students come to us and want to graduate fully prepared. So VR was kind of something that we've been talking about for the last couple of years. Um, we decided to make that pivot into the imaging world and establish the Imaging Academy. We immediately decided that a piece of that was going to be the virtual reality. We're just going to do one of the same in that imaging academy effort and includes and is built around VR. So we want to change and innovate the way imaging training is done. So we have a guy like you out there who's like, I'm kind of interested in this imaging stuff. Uh, how can I get into there? Well, for a guy who's working full time, it can be difficult to take one week, two weeks off, and it can be extremely expensive. 
we've taken and we've, we've chunked that curriculum down and said, what from that curriculum could be delivered in a virtual reality world? Designed it, mastery. How can I master something? As you said, I'm not a biomedical trainer, right? right. Um, but I did the same module as you did. I can now disassemble and reassemble med rat injection. I'm actually confident. That's the other thing. Is exactly. Just because you took it apart it doesn't mean that you're confident to do it again. I honestly think if I had a problem, I could take it completely apart, Absolutely. change out the seals, uh, the LEDs, whatever you know we needed to. Um, that's different. I've never seen that before. Yeah, and, and so it's all designed, it's designed around mastery. So another differentiator is if I go to get imaging training um, at a facility, there's typically a device and there's five right. or six students for right. limited time. That's the problem every time. With VR, Justin can get in there and you can repeat that module 30 times if you need to. Until right. you've mastered the steps and understand the processes. Uh, that information, research has shown time and time again, is better learned in a VR world and you can attain mastery quicker in a VR world than you can do hands-on old-fashioned or something. We don't, we don't suggest that there's not a room for that. We believe there is. We believe at the end of the day, the guy's got to put his hands on it, tear it apart, put it back together, understand it. The VR is a supplement to the drive, and it's going to make the training less expensive, more accessible, and of a higher quality. That's our goal. What about like refreshers? Because you know that's another big problem with OEM training. I might go to training and I don't see it for a long time. Is there going to be some sort of refresher program or something using the VR? Awesome. Yeah. So this is a little bit aspirational because we are at the yeah, front end of this project. Right. But we have that in mind and we the same things to ourselves. So you, you get your med rat injector training, you master. I got this. Then an update comes. I got to change the seal. I got to do something different. Whatever it is. Well. Through VR, we can send that update to you okay. as a as an extension of your training. Right. So you've already paid for your training education. Well, how do we add value to that? Let's keep you updated on the latest and greatest. That's going to that's going to encourage you to come back to us because there's value in it, and it doesn't have an expiration date. VR allows us to eliminate the expiration date for your training. Right. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. Guys. So uh, I got a couple more questions here before I sign off. Um, what about job intern assistance? You, you kind of talked about it a little bit, but let's say somebody does go through and graduate from one of your programs. What type of support do you guys offer for future proofing? Okay. A couple of things. Um, first off, bottom line. Uh, students that have jobs pay their bills. That's right. Uh, and so That's right. at the end of the day, if we're graduating students and they don't get jobs, I, I, honestly, I, they, I don't think that there's very many places that wouldn't hire a biomed one right now, right. like today. Right. And I mean, that could change in the future. I mean, these videos stay up for years, but currently, like, I'd say the demand is way over. It, yeah, it, there's a high demand right now for the industry. Our, our reputation is built on a relationship of trust with our industry partners. When a student graduates from our school, the expectation is that they can go to work the next day of their care. That's what we that's our goal. Um, we're doing a couple of things to innovate how we connect our students to employers. Uh, we do have a career services element uh, within our college. We work directly with each student. We've recently integrated a new software that was demoed here actually at the expo called SkillNet. Uh, SkillNet is embedded and integrated into our program. So the student on day one when they start with us, they fill out all of their data, all the profile data, who they are, what they are, where they come from, what their experiences are. And then that stays with them through the academic life cycle while they're with us. And at the end of that, the result is an experiential resume that is a true and accurate reflection of your skill sets. That student has had the opportunity to engage with one of our employers, one of your academic providers, um, to get those skills validated. Right. And that resume leaves us, much like an official transcript, it then goes to our job placement entity uh, to place with employers nationally. We partnered with HTM Jobs on that on who they are, what they do, trust them. Um, and so in the future, our graduates uh, experiential resume will be a digital file, handshake, HDM jobs, HDM jobs places, places in the um, We will always talk to the industry partners. We love talking to them. Um, and we always work with them. Um, HDM jobs just adds value to that and, and helps our students. At the end of the day, it's all about the students. Okay. Well, uh, one last thing before we go, guys. 
I do see some stuff that I have not seen before. One of them is Imaging Academy, and guys, that is blowing me away. That, that's a whole new venture for you guys. Can you tell us what Imaging Academy is and what it, it can do for us? So, the Imaging Academy was born for about what we saw as a uh, A couple of years ago, Bill and I were talking about, you know, what's, what's next? We're working, put everything we got into Biomed, we want to, we're going to keep putting everything we got into, but what's next? How do we add value to that? What's the next step? So we started thinking about natural progressions. And for a lot of biomeds, so like, okay, we're going to go scale up, train, get something different. And uh, imaging was a space we were very interested in. We did not want to go into that space at all. So we partnered with a fantastic company called Medical Imaging Solutions. Okay, I've heard uh, They have a location in Woodstock, Georgia, and a location right here in Henderson, Nevada. Uh, and we completely redesigned and built a imaging academy. Um, the imaging academy is accredited. Uh, it's, it's robust. Uh, many different training opportunities and options. Uh, there will be online, there will be hybrid, and there will be traditional fixed site learning. Okay. Uh, now, is it separated by modality, like mammography, you know, CR, like whatever? So, again, we're on the front end of this endeavor, so um, there will be. Uh, we are still working through which specific devices we want to train on. Okay. Uh, modality, uh, we have everything from C arms to portable x rays, basic x ray introduction, courses, advanced x ray, which looks at installation. Uh, we're talking some high end stuff, MRI machines. So this, this would be an avenue of growth for somebody like me. I've never, I've never been in imaging. I, I have been trained on several uh, imaging devices. But, you know, just as I mentioned earlier, I haven't worked on them in years. You know, so if I could, you know, a la carte, like pick what type of items I'd like to learn on, that would be fantastic. And that's, that's exactly how it's designed. So if you need ultrasound training, you can come here, you can get your ultrasound training. Okay. It's very specific. Ultimately, we would like to be down to the model level, you know, the okay, type. Right, right. So, you know, that takes time. But, I mean, at least people have uh, another option. I mean, that's, that's, that's really what we're asking for. Yeah, it's another option, and it's one that's, again, uh, it's accessible, it's affordable, and it's of a high quality. That's our goal. Uh, and it's complemented by things like we're doing with the VR. So, you got value in it, and the value extends past the time of your course. So when you're done, our intent is we keep sending you the updates, we'll send you more information, we'll make value back for that. Okay. So let's move on. That's Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. January 1. I, I walked over here to, to talk to you guys and I had no clue that you guys were even working on this program. But anyway guys, uh, kind of out of time, but uh, thank you all for watching. College of Biomedical Equipment Technology is the one place I always refer people to because it's they have something for everybody. That's all there is to it. So thanks again for watching. Thank thanks you Mark, very much for your time. I appreciate it. All right guys, I hope that answered all your questions.